Hello, and welcome to another episode of Low End Box TV. This is part five of our journey to a highly available WordPress installation. And what we're doing here is we're setting up two nodes that are in sync, both at the database level and the file system level, uh, so that WordPress is always available even if one of those nodes goes down. And some of the technologies we're using in this tutorial series are uh, Round Robin DNS on the browser side. We're using multi-master replication in MariaDB. We're using DRBD to synchronize the two uh, disks, and that's what we set up last time. And in this piece of the tutorial, we are using OCFS. Now, OCFS, actually OCFS2, is the Oracle Cluster File System. Now, don't let that proprietary sounding name scare you off. It is licensed under the GNU GPL, and it's available in your normal package manager, so you don't have to go to oracle.com and download anything. This is uh, something that's pretty easy to uh, download and install. Now, the reason we're using uh, Oracle Cluster uh, File System, you know, last time we set up um, a couple partitions, and we got those in sync at the at the block level, at the device level, you could say. Um, why not just go and put, you know, make this uh, ext4 or whatever on those? Well, we need to have a cluster file system because we want um, we want a way to resolve conflicts between these two, um, you know, between the two nodes if someone is writing the same different things at the same or same thing at, at different times or the same thing at the same time uh, we want a cluster file system to help us sort that out and that's what OCFS does um, it's pretty easy to set up and once we've got it up and running um, um, it's kind of set it and forget it um, so let's go ahead and get it configured here and what we're gonna do is let's go on to node one here and I'm gonna go into Etsy OCFS or Etsy OCFS2, and there's nothing there right now, but I'm going to create this cluster.conf, and let's set this up. So we're going to define two nodes and then a cluster. So the first node, the IP port, we'll use 7777. IP address will be from our first um, node one here, so 4579-81184. If you ever need to find your IP address, of course, it's in your VPS panel or whatever, but you can also just use the IP address command and that uh, will tell you there it is right there. All right, so we've set up our IP address uh, number equals zero. In other words, this is server number zero. Name equals node one dot low end dot party and cluster equals OCFS2. All right, let's go and say um, rows one through six yank and paste those in because this is all going to be the same we just need to change a couple things here uh, we've got uh, I need to put in the other IP address that's 23.239.7.40 that's the IP address for node 2 that will be number 1 and that will be node 2 cool then we just need to add the cluster uh, definition here so node count equals Two, obviously, and name the cluster name. We're just going to call it OCFS2. Cool. So that is our um, cluster comp. Hopefully, that's pretty straightforward. You define two nodes. Uh, you know the port, the IP address, which number it is. You just have to give them each a uh, um, a unique number. I don't know if you actually have to start at zero and count, or if you can put any number in there, but. We'll leave that as is. We've got our name, the server name there, and then the cluster type. And then in the cluster clause, you just put in the number of nodes and the name of the cluster. Now I'm going to copy this file. Uh, oops, what's it called? That's right, cluster conf. Copy cluster conf to node2.lowend.party in the same directory. And yeah, you know, normally I don't have. Um, log in by root with a password enabled. You know, sometimes we kind of take corners to, or cut corners in these tutorials to make it uh, a little bit more straightforward so you don't have to uh, sit and watch me, you know, copy stuff uh, uh, with Ansible or something like that. That's typically what I'd be doing. But uh, just to keep it simple, we've got uh, password authentication turned on. Now, um, 
the cluster configuration now is on both nodes. If we want the cluster to start at boot time, however, that is actually controlled by Etsy default O2CB. But if you look at that file, it says this is a configuration file. Uh, it's generated by running dpackage. It says, please use that method. So rather than edit this um, uh, by hand, we're going to do a dpackage reconfigure OCFS2 tools. Would I like to start at boot time? Yes. And that's the name of the cluster. We're not going to. Um, not going to change that. We'll just leave it at 31. And we'll leave that the same, we'll leave that the same, we'll leave that the same. And we're done. Let's go over and do the same thing here on node 2. Reconfigure OCFS2 tools. Uh, yes, I would. And then everything else, I'm just hitting return here to accept these defaults. Boom. Okay. So we've got um, OCFS run, uh, or set up. So um, I think what I want to do here is on node one, um, we want to create a file system. Now, I don't want to do it on dev SDC one. Remember we did this, um, you know, there is dev SDC, that's a partition. But that's the local partition. That's on our local disk. We want to do it on DRBD0. That's kind of the next layer up in the stack. And to do that, we're going to type make this OCFS2. And I just wanted to see what the uh, arguments are here. Right. So we type make this OCFS2. N is the number of nodes that are going to be using this volume. L is the, um, the volume label. We'll call this OCFS2 DRBD on dev DRBD0. And that looks good, so hit return. Writing blah, 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 boom. Formatting journals and other stuff. Do, do, do. Okay, it's all set. Now, let's um, start and enable the cluster registration services. So system control. Enable, 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 OCFS2, good, system control, enable, O2CB, boom, and system control, start OCFS2, OCFS2, and system control, start O2CB. Let's do those exact same commands over here. System control. Enable. Enable OCFS2 and O2CB. And then we'll do a system control start OCFS2 and start O2CB. Boom. Before we continue, I'd like to highlight one of our community advertisers. DeadyPath offers virtual private servers and dedicated servers in Los Angeles, New York, Las Vegas, Jacksonville, or Dallas. They also offer specialized hosting solutions for Forex, SEO, and high bandwidth needs. Their VPS solutions offer unmetered bandwidth with fast SSD disk. DeadyPath consistently offers some of the most aggressive pricing in their market segments and can offer Asia-optimized bandwidth, 10 gigabit per second connections, IPv6, and advanced DDoS protection. If you're in the market for a dedicated or virtual server, be sure to check out DeadyPath's offers on Low End Talk or Low End Box, or visit their website at deadypath.com. All right, good, we're up and running on both sides. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to mount that dev DRBD0. Now, where are we going to mount it? Well, actually what we're gonna do is we're going to use this, uh, sorry, slash web directory. That's what we're gonna actually gonna put on uh, our clustered file system or our, our synchronized system. That means, Everything for WordPress will be the same on both nodes, right? Remember, everything, uh, that's that's the root for our Nginx um, uh, definition for this server. So, slash web slash www.lowend.party, if we go take a look at that, web www 
www.lowend.party. That's got all of our um, WordPress install. That's the root for that's the public HTML, if you will, for our website. So um, if, as we upload things, it would typically go into, you know, WP content. That's where things like themes, uh, plugins, um, you know, we could certainly put um, things there like our um, files or whatever as we upload those, etc. So we're going to leave. Uh, we're, that's what we're going to mount on both sides here. So what we're going to do here is we are going to unnode one. I'm going to stop Nginx for a moment. Stop Nginx. No. Oh. <laughs> Stop Nginx, there we go. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna move web to web.prev for short for previous. And I'm gonna make their web. And then I could mount this, but you know what? Let's go ahead and set up Etsy FS tab. Now, if you're not familiar with Etsy FS tab, it stands for file system table. It's got uh, it's a table of all the different file systems, and at mount time, these um, uh, the, the, the init and startup scripts go and look at this table and then mount the various file systems. So in this case, the first one is the file system, which for us is dev drbd0. Mount point will be web. It is type OCFS2, right? It's not ext4 or swap, it's OCFS2. We'll set this to no auto, no a time, and then I'm just going to set these to zero and zero. Um, if you're not familiar with, oops, <laughs> trying to make it line up pretty here. Um, the zero and zero, it's uh, zero if dump should take a look at it. We're not going to be using dump on this system. And then what pass to use for FSCK. Um, so we'll just actually, we probably should make that last one a one. It's probably not really going to matter in our example. So I'm just going to copy this line uh, because I might need it. All right, um, now let's go ahead here on node one and mount web. Aha, so I think what we need to do here when that happens, my notes say we probably need to restart the O2CB service. All right, let's try that again. There we go. It's thinking, it's doing something. We'll let that cook. There we go. Well, let's see. Did we get anything interesting in DMSG when it did that? Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, mounting device, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's go over here to Node 2, and um, I'm going to do kind of the same thing here. I'm going to go to um, root file system, move web to web.prev, make your web. And modify at CFS tab. So dev drbd0. Mount point is web. Oh, I did copy this. I could have just pasted it. Well, I'm already this far. So no auto, no a time, uh, zero and one. There we go. Okay. So here I should be able to mount web. Yep, so I'm going to have to restart that again, and it hit that DO2CB restart. Let's try it again. Mount web, it'll take a moment, and then it'll be mounted up. Now, I'm going to go back to node 1, and on node 1, now remember at this point, this is a shared volume, so I want to, or whatever I do on one side is going to be I shouldn't say instantly, but nearly instantly reflected on the other side. Okay, we are mounted on both sides. So on node one, I'm going to go back here to web.prev and I'm going to move the www low end party directory into web. Now, if this was not a shared clustered file system, that would have been instant, right? Because it's not that big. It's, uh, what is that? Um, 70 megs, and this is, you know, a highly performant uh, SSD based system. So moving 70 megs, uh, it's actually, it's not even a copy. Well, it would be to a different partition, but even so copying 70 megs is, uh, should just be instant, but because it had to also, um, you know, synchronize with the other node, that's why you saw that delay. Now, if I go to cat proc drbd, 
Yep, we're still up to date and in sync. Now here's the acid test. I am now on node two. What do I have in web? Hey, look at that. I've got www.lowend.party, et cetera, et cetera. So I can do things like um, touch web copy test. And if I go over here and look in web, sure enough, there's my copy test. I can remove that copy test and it'll be gone over on this side as well. Boom. All right, so I have my two uh, servers in sync. The other thing I need to do here is system control start Nginx because I had shut it down before. I don't remember actually if I shut it down here, so let's just restart it just to be safe. All right, so now I have, um, we are in sync. At this point, our servers are in sync. I've got the databases in sync using MariaDB's multi-master um, replication. And we are using DRBD and the Oracle cluster file system to get the two uh, file systems in sync. So anything I upload, if I was to go in and update WordPress, that would be uh, that would be synchronized between the two nodes. Uh, anything that happens really in that web route is in sync between the two hosts. So these two nodes really are in sync. Next time what we'll be doing is we'll be setting up round robin DNS, we'll be configuring Let's Encrypt and making sure it's gonna work on both nodes because, uh, uh, well, we'll talk about that when we get there uh, next time. And then we'll do a little bit of uh, testing, you know, kind of live testing where we drop you know, one side, make sure it still works in the browser. Until then, I want to invite you to come visit us at Low End Box or Low End Talk. If you enjoyed this type of technical content, there's loads more on both of those sites. We also have fantastic deals on hosting. We're posting stuff every day on where you can save money on hosting. Uh, we also have opinions and commentary from uh, true industry leaders, as well as very spirited discussion about nearly everything related to computers and IT and hosting. Until next time, happy hosting.